Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sally Jack's TV mom. Now, now you know how excited I get over Christmas, okay? Christmas is over. We're into 2021. I do realize that. However, I always say, and this is what I always, always say when I'm on television as well, is start early. So it's the 2nd of January today because I'm recording two vlogs for you. So one you'll have already seen. Um, but I've already bought a lot of birthday and Christmas presents for this year and I've also bought Christmas decorations uh, for this year as well for 2021 so when I was buying them it obviously it was for next year you get what I'm, you get my drift now I always state this now I've got myself into a situation where I can do it so financially it's very difficult if you've just bought for Christmas so if you bought for Christmas 2020 then of course you'll be paying it off um, if you put it on credit cards etc etc so what you've got to do is buy throughout the year. So this is what I did. And I did it over a period of a few years. And now I'm in the situation that actually when we get to Christmas, I've got nothing to buy. And then when we get into the January sales, that's when I have a splurge. Therefore, I'm getting everything at a much cheaper price. And you'll get things at 50% off. So most of the stuff that I bought for presents and birthday presents and Christmas presents for this year have been mostly 50% off. So I still think that as a, as a, as a, a, a very good bargain. However, there are bigger bargains bargains to have going through January. Now what I do, a lot of people will be very savvy and have spreadsheets. I'm really an old fashioned girl. I just have an A4 piece of paper and therefore I can go to it any time. However, last year I lost my A4 piece of paper and I was absolutely devastated. The first year I have ever lost it, ever, and I lost my piece of paper and I didn't know who I was giving to and it was an absolute catastrophe. But this year it won't happen. I'm also going to mark boxes and they all go up into the loft and then whenever there's any birthdays, I can read out what's on my list. Gary knows where that list is if I'm away. Therefore, if somebody's birthday crops up that I've forgotten about, he can say, he can ring me, so-and-so's birthday is on such and such a date if he remembers and I don't or my mum rings us to tell us and then Gary can go and have a look at that list that we always keep in the same place therefore he can pop up in the loft get it out I always have a stash of cards as well so I'm always I'm always try to be organized as as much as I can so um uh, we all know, if you do follow me, that Frankie Jack is six, so next year he's going to be seven. So he is massively into Christmas. I love my tree. You'd have seen my tree if you want to go and have a look at it. I know you probably won't because it's January, but if you've seen my tree, you've seen it's quite uh, uh, white and silver with a hint of pink in, and that matches the lounge. So when we did all the decoration for the lounge, that's how I changed it. However, next year, because he's so in the midst of just absolutely living, breathing, eating, and he's Christmas mad. He's even singing fa la 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 in July is my son. I, that's no word of a lie. I'm not just saying that for a joke. That's what he's like. Um, because he's like that, then I want to make it as uh, sort of kiddified as possible and not have this sort of classic stylish, uh, an adult tree. I want to go for a, um, a more kiddie tree. And actually, uh, years ago, I used to have a very kiddie tree in my conservatory, which was all candy canes. So 2020, I decided when we put the tree up, right, I'm going to do the candy cane tree next year. However, I didn't have enough decorations. So because we were in tier three uh, just before we headed into new year, um, one morning, even though I haven't been well, I, you probably watched my vlog, I've got a very bad tummy. I nipped out to a garden centre very, very, very early doors in the morning um, when I thought my tummy was a little bit better, but it wasn't. Um, and then I came home and I just slept on the couch all day, it really sort of wore me out but I did this shop and I want to show you everything that I've gone so sorry I've prattled on for a bit there and you haven't seen anything yet so let's have a look at what I got so this is for the candy cane tree next year so when I do my decorations next year you're gonna have a completely different vlog so I started off I want to do like an elf candy cane tree so I want it to be red so I want it to be white and I want it to be that really vibrant green almost like the Grinch if you will so I got this which is a hat and I got this at 50% off and I'm probably going to pop that at the top of the tree so my tree is going to be very different next year I also got um, because the kind of theme that I'm going for I'm crossing over two themes if this works and obviously I won't know till I start decorating next year uh, I want to kind of go Hansel and Gretel with elves so I want to do that sort of outsy, outdoorsy whimsical feel which is the mushrooms and they just clip onto uh, the end of your tree but I also want to incorporate candy cane and sweets etc so it's very sort of Hansel and Gretel -y. so I've got a lot of these a lot of these to grip 
rip on to the ends and I also got some other decorations which I've never really been into but all of a sudden all of a sudden I am and that's these decorations so these I always I always think of a very American feel I don't know whether I'm right on that but I've never really been into them but all of a sudden this year I have let me get the box open because they can be damaged you see they can be broken so just take a look at that look look at the little elf <laughs> sat on his bauble because like I said I'm going to do very elfy elfy feel and Frankie Jack picked this one up and that's the green I want to put on I had a candy cane tree um many years ago and and um, it was beautiful, but it was just red and white. This time I want to add green in. My sister-in-law's done it and her tree is spectacular. Um, what else have I got? So going for that whimsical theme, I also got some big rolls of kind of a moss. I know this looks a bit weird to put in your tree, but it's going to look spectacular. So that's going to go down the tree as well. So you can see it's very, very different to how it was this year. And then I've also got these huge toadstools that are going to sit in the, and I've got three of those that are going to sit in the tree as well. So that gives it this kind of Hansley Gretley feel. I've also got, and I don't know whether this is going to go, but if it doesn't, it goes in the hallway. So I've got two places that I can put it. And this is, it's kind of almost like a twiggy five fairy kind of um root I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you but look at this so um this is going to wrap round and it's either going to go up my stairs as you know because I'm going to have the stairs still the same but I'm going to add red into it so it's going to be slightly different because I can't change every room because it's just too expensive um so look so this has got a kind of velvety coating and the reason why I've gone to a little bit of added expense this year is because Gary and I didn't spend anything on each other for Christmas so we didn't buy I mean I mean really it was absolutely minute so because of that, I said, my money this year is going to go on the house for Christmas decorations next year. So this is some lovely um, leaves again. They've got like a velvety feel and a little bit of silver and gold on there. And then you've got your berries as well. So they're quite long. So they'll go perhaps on the tree or like I said, up the stairs. I've also got, and if anybody's seen these, I want to know where to get them from. Um, I've also got, oh, come out of the bag. I've also got these huge poncettas. Um, I just need to place them because obviously they're on wire. But you can see how beautiful they are. And I bought a whole load of those. I think I bought one, two, three, four, five, six. My idea when I'm doing a tree is always to buy lots of the same thing. Um, so tags there, I'll take that off. So I bought those. These were all 50% off. So I think I paid uh, three fifty for this. Um, but I want these in that green colour I just showed you, almost like that Grinchy green. I want these in that colour as well, so those can go all, all over the tree. So that's that. I also... Oh, we got this, which was fabulous. So this is Letters to Santa for Elf on the Shelf for Frankie Jack. I know this is not going to go on the tree, but he can actually um, write his Santa's letters. And there's also a book in there and there's some pens and there's some ribbon. And I just think that's really beautiful. So it's all about um, reading the book as a family, writing a letter to Santa on Santa's special paper. Um, you can also shrink your letter with a grown-up's help using Mrs. Claw's Magic Press. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm going to so love this next year. Uh, send the letter to to your scout elf straight to the Santa at the North Pole and cherish your ornament. There's an ornament after Santa reads your letter. He will send it back to you and hang it on your Christmas tree. Um, and so we got that. And of course, we all know that elf on the shelf, the actual elf on the shelf stuff, unless you go into Poundland, is very expensive. That was half price. So it should have been... £24.95, so £25. So I would never have bought that for £25, but I only paid £12.50 for it. So I think that's well worth it. Um, I've also got, oh, this is so cool. I love this. Um, this is a um, letter to Santa holder uh, that can also go in the tree and it's, it's tin. Um, I also got some really big, lovely, goodness, uh, good tidings of comfort and joy, uh, big signs to go on the tree as well. So on. And then I also got another hat which is also really curly. And I've got three more hats that are like this that I bought this year um, for going into Christmas 2020 that are also going to go on the tree. Um, we got some lovely little ornaments that are kind of 
um, can you see? But that lovely green that I want, she's really cute. But I've also got my fillers. I got quite a lot of these, but I'll just get these out for the time being. So these are the fillers that I put through the tree, and that's that lovely green that I'm talking about. Um, and I got quite a few of these. I think I got about seven or eight of them that all fit in different sections of the tree. <laughs> Look at this Santa's jumper because I do like. Um, I do want also like very material. Um, does that make sense? So I've got some candy canes from the olden days, from years ago, that are all material. And I've also got this jumper. And I got I got two of each of those because that's all that was left on the shelf. We always put bigger stuff on the tree. So I got some smaller uh, stars. I got some larger stars. And I've also got some medium-sized stars. So I've got quite a few of those. So those will either pop, poke out the top or go round the tree as we're coming down. And these are little wreaths to go on. So if I have elves going up the tree, they can be holding these, etc. So as you can see, I'm getting very excited about doing next year's tree or this year's tree now. It's 2021. I also got these, which are stars. So these can also go in the hallway as well as in the lounge. Jack picked up a massive um, Santa. I'll put him back in if I can get him back in. Let's see if I can squeeze him out. He got a massive Santa, which I think is so cute. Look, look at him, isn't he lovely? So, so he was really cute. Um, he's also a uh, glass. So you've got to be very, very careful with uh, breaking him. I've just, I might put him on the side as actually an ornament instead. So he was cute. And then we also got this. Now this was an absolute barjan. <laughs> so this is a rocking horse and it's part of uh, the collection that this garden centre did with sort of the sweetie candy cane. But if you can see, the bottom of the rocking horse is actually broken. He was retailing at £120. There's no tag on it saying that. But he was £120. But of course, he is broken. He's got everything else, but he just hasn't got the bottom bit. But I'm not bothered about that because I'm actually going to stick him in the tree. Um, I'm probably going to have him right at the top of the tree, uh, coming out of the top. Um, because it's very kiddie five, so I ended up paying £20 for him. So this is where you can get some absolute bargains. So that's probably my biggest major bargain. So what, what, what I'll do is I'll just cut the ends off his feet there um, so you don't see those pokey bits coming out at the bottom of the tree. And then finally, my piece de la resistance, um, and this one's huge. Um, and uh, I really, really love this guy. I don't know where I'm going to sit. Oh, girl, I think she's more of a girl. Yeah, she's definitely a girl. Um, let's have a look. Are you ready? Da, da, da. I got her. Isn't she cute? So she goes with the same theme of the uh, rocking horse, but um, she will go on the floor. But if you can see, she's got really cool little eyes and she's got the candy cane. So she'll stand either next to the tree or she'll stand um, on the floor uh, by the fireplace. So I also got this fantastic throw. So this is going to go with obviously the theme. So it'll just come out for Christmas. This should have been £25. I got it for a tenner. These cushions that are a wonderful sort of arctic polar bear um, fur to them and I also got these from um, Home Sense as well these were on a deal a pack of two I think I got a pack of two for I think they were something like 15 pounds um, so I got a deal on those so all my um, pink cushions will come away and it will be grey white and red and white that I will put onto my sofa so that's it thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up as press the subscribe button we'd love to have you part of my youtube family love you as always and I'll see you on the next vlog bye from the mad christmas woman I'll see you later